Welcome to the InterNACHI Home Inspector Code of Ethics course. This is the first page of the course. Now, you may be watching this video while taking the course, or you may be watching this video on YouTube. Um, if you're enrolled in the course, what we recommend is bringing this video up in a new tab or window while you progress through the course. This video is supplemental to the Code of Ethics course. Um, you may watch it, or you may choose not to. It's truly optional, but it's a good recommendation to follow along. So, uh, get a cup of coffee, and let's go through the InterNACHI Code of Ethics course. And we're, we are at the first page of the course. Welcome to the course. This course is one part of several requirements to become an InterNACHI Certified Home Inspector. So, at the end of this course, there is a final exam, and I'll show you how to do that. You click it, you pass the final exam, download a certificate, and you have completed one of the requirements to become an InterNACHI Certified Home Inspector. Let's go to the next page. How to progress through the course. It is kind of difficult, but there are some things that are basic. One of them is to get to the next... It's a short video. Oh, there's a how-to video. To get to the next page, you simply scroll down and click the big Next Page button. Let's just do that right now. There's also on the left side a navigation menu, and you can click anywhere you want. And you can go in and out of any section, and it will remember where you um, left and will pop you right back in. You can also stop right in the middle of a course, leave, come back a few days later, and jump right in. So your certification is nationally accredited. So taking the um, Code of Ethics course is one part of the certification requirements to become an internationally certified home inspector, and that certification is nationally accredited because InterNACHI is a, an, an accredited post-secondary education institution, um, accredited by the U.S. Department of Education, and we're also recognized in Canada. Student verification. There's your big fingerprint there. We want you to be enrolled as you. Don't ask your friend or anybody else to take the course for you. So you sign this affidavit verifying that you are the student enrolled in this course. There are many resources. One of them is a course PDF you can download and follow along in a print version. We have a library of inspection articles. To help you with your computer and the technology, make sure your browser, your internet browser, is updated. And there's an online forum, videos, graphics, glossary, etc. And here's a link on how to become an InterNACHI Certified Home Inspector. Take this course first. So, let's begin. We begin by taking a certification quiz. Ugh. So, there's a few quizzes throughout the course. Let's try it out. Every course you complete is a course that is accredited by a national accrediting agency of the U.S. government and worth transferable CEUs. Because InterNACHI School is accredited, you can actually transfer your CEUs to any other college or university. I'm not going to tell you the answer. And on and on. And you go through the quizzes, and then you click Grade Quiz. You'll get your grade, and then you continue with the course. Let's go to Section 1. The first page of Section 1 is an introduction to InterNACHI and the InterNACHI School. The next page is Duty to the Public. The InterNACHI members shall abide by the Code of Ethics and substantially follow the InterNACHI Home Inspection Standards of Practice. That's one of the requirements of the Code of Ethics. Next page. The InterNACHI members shall not engage in any practices that could be damaging to the public or bring discredit to the home inspection industry. The InterNACHI member shall be fair, honest, impartial, and act in good faith in dealing with the public. Next page. The InterNACHI member shall not discriminate in any business activities on the basis of age, race, color, religion, gender, national origin, family status, sexual orientation, or handicap, and shall comply with all federal, state, and local laws concerning discrimination. Next page. The InterNACHI member shall be truthful regarding his or her services and qualifications. InterNACHI provides members with more than 45 different types of inspector certifications, and they're all online and free. On the next page, you'll have your first official quiz about the Code of Ethics. Let's continue the course in Section 2, Duty to the Public, within the Code of Ethics. According to the Code of Ethics, the InterNACHI members shall not have any disclosed or undisclosed conflict of interest with the client. The InterNACHI members shall not accept or offer any disclosed or undisclosed commissions, 
rebates, profits, or other benefit from real estate agents, brokers, or any third parties having financial interest in the sale of the party, uh, property. Or, the Internet G member shall not offer or provide any disclosed or undisclosed financial compensation directly or indirectly to any real estate agent, real estate broker, or real estate company for referrals or for inclusion on lists of preferred and or affiliated inspectors or inspection companies. Now, if you're interested in getting leads for potential inspection jobs, InterNACHI generates leads at no cost for members. And click the link there. Next page. The InterNACHI members shall not release any information about an inspection or the client to a third party unless it may affect the sa safety of others violates a law or statute, or both of the following conditions are met. One, the client has been made explicitly aware of what information will be released to whom and for what purpose, and the client has provided explicit prior written consent for the release of his or her information. Next page. The internet member shall always act in the interests of the client unless doing so violates the law, statute, or this code of ethics. Next page. The InterNACHI member shall use a written contract that specifies the services to be performed, limitations of services and fees, and InterNACHI provides a free online agreement system. Next page. The InterNACHI member shall comply with all government rules and licensing requirements of the jurisdiction where he or she conducts business. And be sure to check your state, local regulations, province uh, certifications, or something within your country um, by clicking that link. Next page. The InterNACHI member shall not perform or offer to perform for an additional fee, any repairs or associated services to the structure for which the member or member's company has prepared a home inspection report for a period of 12 months. This provision shall not include services to components and or systems that are not included in the InterNACHI standards of practice. Next page. We're at section three. Duty to continuing education. The InterNACHI members shall comply with InterNACHI's current continuing education requirements. Click the link to check out InterNACHI's education policy, including the completion of 24 hours of CE every year. That's a very high standard for InterNACHI certified home inspectors. Next page. The InterNACHI members shall pass InterNACHI's online inspector examination once every three years another high standard. Next page. The InterNACHI member shall strive to improve the home inspection industry by sharing his or her lessons and or experiences for the benefit of all. This does not preclude the member from copywriting or marketing his or, his or her expertise to other inspectors or the public in any manner permitted by law. Next page. The InterNACHI member shall assist the InterNACHI leadership in disseminating and publicizing the benefits of InterNACHI membership. And there's a link to InterNACHI membership benefits right there. Next page. The InterNACHI members shall not engage in any act or practice that could be deemed damaging, seditious, or destructive to InterNACHI, fellow InterNACHI members, InterNACHI employees, leadership, or directors. Accusations of a member acting or deemed in violation of such rules shall trigger a review by the Ethics Committee for possible sanctions and or expulsion from InterNACHI. Next, the InterNACHI member shall abide by InterNACHI's current membership requirements. And there's a link to the requirements to become an InterNACHI certified home inspector. The InterNACHI member shall abide by InterNACHI's current message board rules. And there's a link to the forum for the home inspection community. Next page. Members of other associations are welcome to join InterNACHI. But a requirement of membership is that InterNACHI must be given equal or greater prominence in their marketing materials, like brochures, flyers, cards, compared to other associations of membership. And there's a link to member marketing services and our logos. Next page. Quiz three. Good job, you're almost there. There are two research and writing assignments. To successfully complete this course, you must write two short essays. On this page are instructions for the first essay, which involves an ethical situation. And the second essay is described on the next slide. 
Now, we're asking you to reflect upon a situation where a home inspector would be involved in an ethical situation in which there is a choice to be made between two options to resolve a situation in an ethically acceptable fashion. Then write an essay upon that situation. For example, the house seller requests that the home inspector go easy, air quotes, on the roof's condition. How would an InterNACHI certified home inspector handle that situation? One option would be to change the opinion. Hmm. The other would be to write the observations in a home inspection report truthfully and accurately. Hmm. So for this assignment, please write a short essay on a hypothetical situation that relates to the topic of this course. You may create your own situation or refer to something that you've experienced in the past related to an ethical situation and decision. This writing assignment has much to do with what a home inspector may experience during a home inspection. The second research and writing assignment is similar to the first one, except we're asking you to go to a, an article um, in our library and choose one, read it, learn from it, make notes, and then write an essay upon what you have learned. That's pretty easy. Here's the end of the course page. Great job, you completed the course. Now go to the final exam while everything is fresh in your mind. And to go to the final exam, you simply click Next Page. And hopefully that was a helpful video to guide you through the InterNACHI Code of Ethics course. Again, nothing in the video will be assessed on any quiz or final exam. The video is optional for you as a guide to help you through the course. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.